except all the ingredients, right? Tide moving, water right, right depth, right place. Yeah. White trout, Ryan? Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Double! All right, Ryan, good fish. They got some really nice ones here. Those you guys. got a whitey, Jeff? It feels like a whitey. Yep. There we go. All right, if you saw my last video, you saw Jeff Brule, Captain Ryan Lambert, and I catching bass pretty steadily in the canes down here at Venice. Happens every year at this time. We did that actually this morning and decided to come out and check some of Ryan's white trout holes that sometimes are full of speckled trout as well. Just getting out here and Ryan's got another white trout. Look at that. Catching them pretty much hand over fist. You know what we do with these, Dad? We, What's take, we boil up to three minutes of crab ball, just a little crab ball, and make like tuna salad with them. You won't believe how good that is. You make tuna, you won't never eat tuna again if you could have that. Now, it's Ryan. Much milder. You were saying on the way down here that it's probably the most underrated fish in Louisiana. You know, because if, when I come to fish them, I'll have ice chest full of ice and I'll just make a sludge with it, with just put water in it and make a sludge. And when you get them back to the cleaning table, they're just as firm as anything. And if you eat them fresh, you really can't tell them from speckled we'll trout, can you? We'll fry them that night, and then if I put them in the freezer, we use they'll take and make the fish salad sandwiches. They're thick right <laughs> here, this and it's one. right in that eddy right there. They're thick. So, yeah, so the situation here, look, we just got one. <laughs> just an absolute blast. And they knock it whole so Look, yep, look at so that. Hard. Yeah, it hit way harder than a speckled trout. Situation here, we got a major pass over here, dumping through here, and it water's just eddying right here. We actually checked an area on the other side, and I had one that got off. That's it. Tons of fish showing up on the graph, but we just couldn't get them to bite because the water wasn't moving there for whatever reason. But it's really moving well here, and these fish are biting almost every cast. They're right over here in this eddy. Yeah, on that bottom right there. I mean, thick. <laughs> More bites than hookups, but man, it's fun. Sitting in that hole right there, but they are. No, you can't tell. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't get why people don't like them. Look at that. Look at that. Hit me on the way down. That's what you like to see. They hit the head first. I'm not sure he's hooked. He's just lodged in there. That's when they want it. Venice in the fall is just. It's just incredible. Stuff happens here, it doesn't happen anywhere else. Even still. Oh! Oh, he hit me again. I've had like five, six hits and never caught him. These were all hooked up. There we go. Catch, man. Oh, what a nice whitey, man. That's a yeah. beautiful white trout right there. Oh, look at that. You just jig and he's there. <laughs> Once you find these fish, catching them doesn't require a lot of skill, but it is a lot of fun. So, Ryan, these, these fish, these white trout, this time of year, typically in this deep water with heavy current, right? Is that... Well, not is that, heavy, just current. Just you know? current, okay. I just can't believe that current stopped flowing at all over there. I guarantee there's a million fish over there. Oh, well, I mean, you can see them on the graph. Yeah. But literally, it's this is not even... The way down. Right yeah, there. I got mine on the way down as well. Not even a challenge. Not even a challenge. I'm challenging up when I go home. You can put a triple rig on there and catch three. Oh, <laughs> oh he come off. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting a full live well. We got all our bass from earlier today in there, and now we're loading it up with white trout. Not room on this boat really to carry an ice chest. So we gotta try and keep these fish alive. So I'm throwing a Limbo Slice Matrix Shad on a 3 8 ounce Death Grip Jig Head. And I think Ryan and Jeff are throwing Lemon Head and Tiger Bait, but it doesn't matter. Believe me, you could throw any color. These fish are down there so thick, it's like carpet. Jeff just pulled in another one. I got one too. One also. Oh, he come off. Racka fracka. Look. Oh. <laughs> That's fun, isn't it? It's not even. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I found that they're here too on this side because it gives me. Gives you something else to fall I'm back try on. Try other spot too because these trout are going to move into these spots. Oh. Normally, the first of November is when the trout really slide into the river. <laughs> 
Come on, Todd. You I'm telling you, it's three in a row. Look, funny. look, four in a row. Way up top, too. Look, just look at the <laughs> if you got a rod you really don't like, you could just dangle the bait over. Oh, yeah. You would lose it. Guaranteed. I mean, every cast. Good fish. Man, it's amazing how many get off. They real tender mouth fish. Oh, what a hit! <laughs> Yeah, I got this medium heavy rod. I probably need to switch from this. It's just cane pulling. It's just cane pulling. Ridiculous. Just how many do you want? How many do you want? Really nice fish. Oh, what a hit! Wow, I didn't miss a hit like that. So I literally think we repositioned the school because they were over here. I think they followed us to the boat. Gotta flip it right behind the boat, let it go down about 10. It's just every drop. You almost like just just set the hook once it gets down into the zone because he's on there. Just beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, I've never understood why people look down on white trout. I really don't. Ain't no way if you let it go to the bottom, try to let it go, it's going to make it. If you got to swallow them up. And they're big, man. They're really big. I mean, some might be pushing two pounds. I got the six when my line twisted up, though. Wow. <laughs> this is just silly. Triple! But look, mine's a lot bigger than y'all. <laughs> Uh, I think mine's pretty big. I'm not talking about my fish, though. Yeah, if it doesn't get to the bottom, it's because the fish is on it. So, Ryan, how long does this last? Until this river jumps back up? Yeah. Which typically is Thanksgiving-ish? No, no. Uh, no? It just depends. It's such a drought up north next this year. The, the cold fronts they come across aren't too, too wet. I don't know which way they come from. So it could be to Christmas or even beyond? I've seen all the way to February the year of Katrina. Really? Man, did we catch the trout there? Oh my God. That was sick. If we were way down here, they could last all the way to the river hit seven foot. Around there's one right behind. Look at this. That's a, that's a pretty fish. That's a pretty fish. They're beautiful fish. Ryan, you lost your tail too. <laughs> Look at that live well. All right, I got to show you this live well. Look at this. 15 minutes. <laughs> yeah, 15 minutes of fishing, and it is packed. If you've never wow. been to Venice, you got to come in the fall. It's amazing. Amazing place. And if you don't have a boat of your own, call Captain Ryan. He'll be happy to take you. Come do this. Now we're here toward the end of October and every day more and more speckled trout are moving into this river. So it's only a matter of time before the specks are shoulder, shoulder to shoulder with these white trout. Ryan's been catching a few mixed in with the white trout. Huh. Goodness. Oh, how you hit so hard. Are they showing up? Yeah, oh, take a what? picture of that. Uh, that's unbelievable. <sighs> oh my God. All right, I got to see that, all right? Let me see. Oh my goodness, look at this depth finder. Look at the fish down there. That's why you get a bite every single drop. Look at that. Go ahead, run, run. I'm not going to horse you. Go ahead. If you had customers that didn't want to do this, we'll cast over there, you know? Work it in. We'll let Jeff catch all those little ones. Yeah. <laughs> I got it. 
Oh, he's gonna have a headache. That's the least of his problems, though. Uh oh, what you got there, Jeff? Yeah, I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put a uh, rattle trap on. There he is. Oh, nice, nice one on the rattle trap. Good, good, good white trout. Oh, almost. You want numbers? Jig them. You want biggins? Rattle trap. Oh, goodness. Hook them in the side, in the mouth. Three at a time. Triple! Jeff's tired of throwing them to the right. He's just throwing them forward. Yeah. Uh, really small. Man, fishing action just does not get any better. And as Ryan mentioned, it's got at least a few more weeks to run. Those white trout will stick around as long as that river stays down. And there's no sign it's going to jump in the short term. All right, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson.